This is a four minute feature, an audio project for radio production. In 1988, producers Denzel Foster and Thomas McElroy set out to form a female trio that would resemble classic groups like the Emotions and the Supremes. The ladies needed to be intelligent, sophisticated, sexy, and talented. <laughs> By mid-1989, Foster and McElroy have formed a quartet consisting of Don Robertson, Terry Ellis, Maxine Jones, and Cindy Heron. They named the group after something that represented constant transformation. In vogue! In vogue! In vogue! In February of 1990, they released their first single, Hold On, off their album Born to Sing. The single ran across the Billboard charts and charted within the top five, as well as their three follow-up singles, Lies, You Don't Have to Worry, and Don't Go. The album itself charted at number 21 on Billboard 200 and number one on the R&B charts. The album Born to Sing went platinum and the first single, Hold On, received the Billboard Award, Soul Train Award, and Grammy nomination. Needless to say, one year after its conception, and Vogue had become an overnight success. Oh my goodness, every guy, every guy was blown away. Those red dresses, out of here. The blend of each member's individual sound and style made them trendsetting and unlike any girl group, past, present, or future. Free your mind. The second album, Funky Divas, was released in spring of 1992. The album and the singles were once again an instant billboard hit. The album went multi-platinum, and the singles Free Your Mind, Giving Him Something He Can Feel, Give It Up or Turn It Loose, Love Don't Love You, and My Lovin' all found their way to the top of the billboard charts. Success was at an all-time high for In Vogue. By the end of 1993, the quartet had signed an endorsement deal with Converse and made numerous TV appearances on series like A Different World, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, and In Living Color. The group went on a three-year hiatus, but reunited in 1996 to re-record what would be their biggest hit to date for the soundtrack of the movie Set It All. Don't Let Go would be the last song that the original four members would record together. It would be two new members, two solo albums, three In Vogue albums, and 11 years later before the original four members would reunite for the BET Awards during a performance with Alicia Keys. The 2008 reunion would lead to the group touring for their 20th year anniversary the following year.
that's my four minute feature. I'm Trina Peterson.